Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here? And what we have here, we can multiply this directly. X times x, write that as x squared over 5 times 5, that's also 5 squared. Then equals to this side as well, 5 times 5, we have 5 squared. Then over x times x, also x squared. Then next step here. We cross multiply x squared times x squared, then equals to also 5 squared times 5 squared. Then next step here, also we have same thing multiplying. But this one we have a times a, which is same thing as a squared. Same thing multiplying, we can write as x squared or squared. Now equals to also same thing multiplying 5 square or squared. And from here, we take the left hand side to right hand side, and this becomes x square or square minus 5 square or square now equals to 0 on this side. And next step, this follows on difference of two squares. When we have a square minus B squared. This is the same thing as a plus b into bracket and open bracket a minus b. That is from here a is standing at x squared and b standing at 5 squared. Then what we have here follow this and becomes x squared plus 5 squared into bracket and also open bracket x squared minus 5 squared close bracket then equals to 0 here and from here we have two possible cases the first one x squared plus 5 square equals to 0 or we have the second one x square minus 5 square equals to 0 here then Solving on this side, this follows when we have a squared plus b squared, which is the same thing as a plus b i into bracket, then also open bracket a minus b i. As this here, yeah, this follows what we have and becomes x plus 5i into bracket, then open bracket x minus. 5i close bracket which is equals to 0 here then also here we have two possible cases the first one x plus 5i equals to 0 or we have x minus 5i equals to 0 here then solving on this side we have x equals to minus 5i and this is a complex solution here and also solving here, we have x equals to 5i. This is also a complex solution here. That is, we have two complex solutions from here. Then solving on the second case as well, which is x squared minus 5 squared equals to 0. Also, this follows difference of two squares. That is when we have a square minus b square, which is same thing as a plus b into bracket, then open bracket a minus b. Then here follow this and becomes x plus 5 into bracket, open bracket x minus 5, close bracket, then equals to 0 here. Also here we have two possible cases. First one x plus 5 equals to 0, or we have x minus 5 equals to 0 here. Then solving on this side, this gives us x equals to minus 5, which is a real solution. And from here, x gives us 5, which is also a real solution. That is, here as well, we have two real solutions here. And all together, we have four solutions, two real and too complex. At this point, we write it out here. We can say that the first solution x1 is equals to 5, 
the second solution x2 equals to minus 5 and x3 equals to 5i and the fourth solution x4 equals to minus 5i that is four solutions together too really too complex now let's check if this satisfy a given problem that is we substitute the value of x here the first one x equals to 5 what we have becomes 5 over 5 times 5 over 5 is it equals to here yeah, also we have 5 over 5 times 5 over 5 then 5 over 5 here we can write it as 1 then times also 1 equal is it equals to this side as well 5 over 5 that's 1 times 1 then 1 times 1 give us 1 which is equals to also 1 times 1 give us 1 we have left hand side equals to the right hand side then x equals to 5 satisfy this given problem then also we substitute x equals to minus 5 that is all we have becomes minus 5 over 5 times minus 5 over 5 is this equals to 5 over minus 5 times 5 over minus 5 then minus 5 over 5 we can write that as minus 1 times also minus 5 over 5 as minus 1 is it equals to yeah 5 over minus 5 that's also minus 1 times 5 over minus 5 that's minus 1 then minus times minus is plus and 1 times 1 that's 1 is it equals to minus 1 times minus 1 also that's plus 1 1 is equals to 1 left hand side equals to right hand side and then minus 5 also satisfies this given problem then also we substitute x equals to 5r that is what we have here becomes 5i over 5 times 5i over 5 is it equals to 5 over 5i times 5 over 5i then 5i over 5 we can write that as i then times also 5i over 5 that's i is it equals to 5 over 5i we can write that as 1 over i times also 5 over 5i which is 5 over high, 1 over high and here i times i same thing multiplying that can be written as i square then is it equals to here 1 times 1 1 over i times i i square then we should note that i square same thing as minus 1 that is here minus 1 is it equals to 1 over minus 1 and here we have minus 1 which is equals to 1 over minus 1 is also minus 1 left hand side equals to the right hand side then we have 5r satisfy this given problem then also we substitute x equals to minus 5r then what we have here becomes minus 5i over 5 times minus 5i over 5 is it equals to 5 over minus 5i times 5 over minus 5i the minus 5i over 5 we can write that as minus i times also minus i is it equals to 5 over minus i we can write that as 1 over minus i times also 1 over minus i then minus times minus that's plus and i times i that's i squared is it equals to here yeah, 1 times 1 that's 1 over minus i times minus i also i squared and here we have i squared as minus 1 is it equals to 1 over minus 1 and here we have minus 1 equals to 1 over minus 1 is also minus 1 that is left hand side also equals to the right hand side 
And then, I, minus 5 high. I was just at this 5. This gave me a problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put a comment. See you next class and bye for now.